In MathCAD, you can set up text boxes, which are an advanced input control with conditional formatting. What that means is that the color and other properties of the text box can change depending on the inputs and the calculations that it performs. So let's take a look at that. In a previous video, I set up a worksheet with two slider controls and have the outputs of those slider controls as the inputs to a text box. And here is a text box that is already set up with conditional formatting. And so here I've got the stress, here I've got the yield strength. And so right now we've got a low value for the stress, six megapascals, and I will increase the value. And on the right, you can see that the yield strength is 32. And so when the yield strength exceeds the yield strength, the text box changes. We see that now it is red and it's indicating that it is yield, but now I will grab the yield strength and increase it. Hey, well, now we're back down to the elastic region. Let me crank this one up even more. Hey, now it's not good. Let me crank this down and then crank this one down. And you can see how the text box is changing based on the inputs. So let's see how we can set that up for ourselves. Let me jump over to the worksheet that I had at the end of the previous video on passing multiple inputs to an advanced input control. First thing to note, I realized that it was kind of dumb to have different scales for the stress versus the strength. So I just did the one on the right to match the same. So that way, if they are the same value, well, they will appear the same. So for example, let me take each one one tick down. So that is much more intuitive. Now let's go about editing the text box in order to have it change its formatting uh, based on the values of these inputs. So I will right click on the text box and then choose the edit button. And here we have the dialog box. Up at the top, we have the start area for the function. We're not gonna change any of the code there. Then we have the execution portion. And in the previous videos, I took the values of the sliders and assigned them to two variables. S for the stress and YS for the yield strength. Let me position my cursor. I'm gonna add in a bunch of empty lines in here so I can write an if then else statement in order to change the code. And actually, before I do that, let me make this dialog box a little bit longer because I'm gonna add in quite a few bits of code in here. So the first line that I'm going to put in here is going to be an if statement. I'm gonna put in four spaces just so that it is indented. And I'll put if and then space, and then I'll put what I'm going to evaluate. And I want to see if the stress is greater than the yield strength. Let me close the parentheses. And then I'll do an open brace, and this will be the start of the actions that should be performed if the stress is in excess of the yield strength. Let me go to the next line and put in a bunch more spaces. And so now the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to change the color of the text. And so in the case of yield, I want to have black text. So let's put in our statement. It's going to be text box dot for color four colors, the text color, and then we'll do open parentheses. And the value that you're going to pass to four color is going to be a zero, then an X, followed by the six digit hexadecimal code for the color that you want to use. And in this situation, I want to have black text. So that is going to be six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I wanted to have white text, that would be six Fs. And so those are the extremes of the hexadecimal codes. All zeros is completely black, all Fs is completely white. And so your various different RGB colors are in between there. And in a moment, I'll, be, I'll show you how you can figure those out for yourself. So let me close the parentheses and then do the colon key. And I'll go to the next line and let's do a bunch of spaces. 
And so the next thing I want to do is change the background color of the text box. And so that's going to be text box dot back color and then open parentheses zero X. And I want to use a red color. So to figure out what a red color is, I'm going to switch over to a web page that I found. And so if you go on to the internet, you can do a search on things like six digit hexadecimal codes for colors or color hex code, whatever, and you will find a bunch of different choices. I found one that I like, and it's at www.w3schools.com forward slash colors forward slash colors picker dot ASP. And this allows me to pick the different colors that I want. Like I mentioned, I wanted a red color. They've got this nice color picker over here. So you can say, hey, do I want a greenish color? And this will give you a starting point for the colors that you want. But I decide that I want to start right about over here with this red color. And then it shows you for lighter and darker values. So the basic red color is FF followed by four zeros. But let's say I want to use a slightly different one. I want to use maybe this particular one, which is FF1A1A. Okay, that is good. Let me switch back over to MathCAD and let me remember that FF1A1A. And so let me put that in here. That's FF1A1A, close parentheses, and then semicolon. All right, let me go back down to the next line and put in a bunch of spaces. And now I will put in the text that I want to appear, and that will be text box dot text, and then open parentheses, and then the quote sign. And in this case, I want it to say yield, and I want it to say yield in all caps. And let's put in our semicolon. And then the next line that I will put in here, I can control the size of the font. So that's going to be text box dot font dot size. And then the equal sign, oops, that's the minus sign, equal sign, and then a number for the text size. So let's say I want this to be a little bit bigger. Let's say I want it to be a text font of 18. So that's good. Then I will do a semicolon. And there are a couple other different ones that you can put in here. The next one that I'll show you is for having a multi-line text, and this will be text box dot multi-line, and then open parentheses. And you're gonna either pass a value of true or false, whether this should be multi-line or not. I'm not going to use multiple lines, so I will just pass a value of false. And so if you don't wanna change multi-line from true to false or false to true. You don't have to include this in your text box script editor. You can just ignore that line. You, can, you only have to put the stuff in here that you want to control and that you want to change. Okay, let me show you another one that you can use. And that is for whether you want the text box to be read only. Well, maybe I do. So I can put in text box and then dot read only open parenthesis and i do want this to be read only so i will put in true and then close parentheses and then my semicolon and so this is everything that i want to be executed for this particular then part of my if then else so let me go to a blank line let me put in a bunch of spaces so now i'm going to put in what i want for the else condition Okay, I put in my spaces and then, oops, let me put the close brace. There we go. And then I'll write the word else and then open brace. And let me go to another line here. And rather than write this all over again, I'm just gonna copy this manual. Let's just copy all these different lines here. I will select it and then use control C and then position on this line and control V just to save myself some time and effort. So let's see, in this particular situation, 
I want to use, let's use something different. Let's use instead of black or white for the text color, let me select a different color. So let me hop back over to that particular web page again. Okay, so let's see, where is gray on here? Let me start over here. And yeah, it's kind of like a bluish gray, but let's say that I decide that I'm just gonna go with that. And I'm going to use something from over here. Let's use 9494B8. Okay, let me hop back over. And so let me change the four color. And I will do this. I think I said 9494 b8 it doesn't have to be capital b i think but i'm just going to use b8 okay now for the background color and this is going to be the situation in which it passes let me delete this and just to be different just to be a little different than red and green let me use a bluish color okay for the blue color what do i like as a starting point let me start with this blue and this is just a little bit too blue for me let me use, use like a little bit of a lighter blue. So 6666FF, let's use that one instead. Okay, so 6666 and then FF, that's a color that I want. Let's change the text and maybe I want to indicate that this is still going to be in the elastic region for stress and strain and that's good. Maybe it does need to be a big font like this. Let me use 12 and I will leave the rest of these statements the same. And now to indicate the end of the else statement, I will put in my close brace and one, two, three, four, and let me do shift that. And so here I've got my complete if then else statement. Then we have our outputs. We can pass the text box text as the output of this particular text box. And then we have this section over here, which is the stop area. And so these are any other additional steps, any kind of like cleanup or final actions that you want to perform, but we, we don't need anything in here for this. So this is good. And so let me choose apply and then close and then click out of here. And so now when I play around with these values, oh my goodness, we have a yield situation. Let me grab the yield strength and crank it up. Hey, we have an elastic region. And I see that oh, maybe my colors don't look so good here. Maybe I do want to change back to a completely white color against this particular color of blue. But I also want to have the text centered. So let's right mouse click on it and choose edit. And first I'll go to the properties tab and let's change from left justification to center justification. And let me go back to the script editor and I realize, okay, the foreground color that I chose here, this wasn't so good. Let me change this to all Fs. Maybe I'll get a little bit more contrast. Okay, I like that. Let's apply and then close and click over here. Now let's play around with a little bit. So I drag this, it updates, and the text is now white against the blue black blue background. Let me grab the yield strength and, oh no, we're yielding. Oh no, danger. Well, uh, now we're okay. And again, you can play around with this all day. This is kind of fun, but that is how you can use the conditional formatting for text boxes in MathCAD Prime, starting with MathCAD Prime 10.